What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube world? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you, as always, for checking out my video. All right, guys, we're going to do a little bit of the gold and silver today. I know there are plenty of people who actually appreciate my information on this, and um, I guess my calm demeanor about situations that are occurring, like, for example, now. But before I get into anything, I am one of those people that when I do something wrong or predict something wrong or get it wrong, I'm not afraid to admit it. So back in 2011 and 2012, when I didn't know the things that I know now, and silver was going to $40, $50 an ounce, there were people that were saying that silver eventually will go down to 15 And I said that would never happen. I really believed it. And honestly, in a non-manipulated system, that probably would have been the case. But we all know at this point, the paper price is what really dictates the price of the metals. So with that being said, I said it would never go down to 15 and today it's at 1550. So unfortunately I was wrong and some other people were right. But you know what? If you make a prediction, sometimes if you wait long enough, certain things can happen anyway. So, But I will give credit where credit is due. The people that did say that did call it. Uh, whether they were doing it because they hated silver and just wanted to pick a low number or, you know, I mean, it's 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 basically speculation because no one knows where the market's going to go unless you're part of the manipulation. But again, credit is where credit is due. Now, on the other hand, I've been warning people about these potential things recently, and, and I'm actually still going to be waiting until November 30th with that vote over in Switzerland to see what's going to happen. And because, again, markets are rigged and votes are going to be rigged as well. I mean, if you think it's an honor system based on the voting with the governments and banks, you know, live with that fantasy. That's perfectly fine. Um, they'll make it close, but I can pretty much guarantee it's going to come out a no vote because a yes vote would damage the banks, would damage the reputation of the governments, would show the world that gold is a lot more than a shiny metal, and they're just not going to allow that to happen. So. I'm going to be looking for, in my own opinion, a, another possible dip in gold and silver right after that. Now, throughout my history of this channel and my old channel, I've never told people, you have to go out buy precious metals if you want to survive because there's going to be some major catastrophe and only gold and silver is going to save you and do what I tell you. I've never done that. I've basically said, this is what I'm doing. People ask my, my recommendations and I always say, as far as precious metals are concerned, I don't worry about the prices. I'm worried about the future for an insurance purpose. I use it for me as a way to store my wealth into something that I cannot just go to a supermarket and spend right now. I mean, let's let's keep it real. If you want to liquidate your, your silver or gold for cash, there are always people that are going to buy it. So it's not like, oh my God, I bought this silver. Now what am I going to do? Nobody wants it. This is a 3.3 ounce solid silver chain, which a lot of people seem to have a problem with for some reason. I guess they're concerned about what I put on my own body. But if I wanted to sell this, I can easily sell it. You know, if you buy a, a bottle of beer and you drink half of it, guess what? You throw it out. It means nothing to you. I mean, you could use the bottle as a weapon or something or use it to blow into to make a musical instrument. But other than that, you're not going to get any returns. I've always told people, do your own research, not, not be afraid to listen to people, but don't base your decisions on what other people tell you. So that's why I listen to so many different types of people, but I tend to listen to people that are financially successful. I listen to what the banks are doing to certain extents, what they're doing behind the scenes, not the, one, not the things about how they're pushing all the paper. I listen to what countries are doing because... There's a reason why countries like China, India, Germany, and now potentially Switzerland, and so many other countries, Venezuela, you can go on and on, either want their gold back or see value in gold and they purchase a lot of it. So if anybody thinks that countries buy gold just because it's a nice shiny metal, nothing lasts forever that doesn't have some kind of benefit. That's why fads come and go. Fashions come and go. Sayings come and go. Inventions like, for example, the VHS or the VCR, which was once top of the line, is now something nobody would want. So 
If something doesn't last, it's because nobody wanted it or it had no value. So the fact that for thousands of years, countries have used physical metals for not only using them for medicinal purposes, not only using them for jewelry, silverware, other particular products that they can use it for, they've used it, especially gold, as a storage of wealth. For some reason, we've can, been conditioned to think that that is not something that is done anymore. Tell a lie long enough, it becomes the truth. So I know there are plenty of people out there that have invested in gold and silver. Some got on the bandwagon at 2000, in 2011 and paid high prices, and they're sitting there nervous. That's what they want. They want, like I've said in so many videos that even don't have anything to do with uh, gold and silver, they want to create an emotional response. That's why when I didn't know what I knew back in 2011, what I know now, I listened to the Max Kaisers and the Alex Joneses and the Lindsey Williams and the Chris Dwaynes that are all telling you, oh, you got to get it now. You have to get it because it's going to go to 5,000. It's going to do this, that. It, they build up the emotion. They build the excitement. It's like a good car salesman. A good car salesman is going to say, oh, yeah, this brand new car, it's top of the line, and you should see the leather seats, and look at this. You press this button, and all of a sudden, the seats, they start warming up, and there's there's a cooling system, a little refrigerator that pops up, and, you know, this is a limited edition vehicle. There's only 5,000 of them made. If you put your money down now, I can guarantee that it will come to you, and people get emotional. That's why if you look at any advertisement, it's always about not telling you how good the product is. It's always why you need it, why you have to have it, why you need to fit in with the crowd. Why do you think like, for example, beer commercials, they're not talking about the fact, oh, you can get drunk off it. Oh, if you're depressed, it'll help you kind of not think of things. They're not going to tell you how bad it is, but what they're going to do is they're going to have a bunch of scantily clad, beautiful women, men that are all built and all in shape. They all look good, the beautiful people, and they're all going to have a party and say, well, if you want to be part of this cool group, the in crowd, drink this beer. So they use your emotion against you. So I can understand that people that don't really understand or went in for a different reason, as far as precious metals are concerned, you're probably scared right now. You're probably nervous and you have the right to do that. But here's my thing. If you are going to buy physical gold and silver with the, the, the thought process of saying, oh, I'm going to buy gold and silver and within six months, I'm going to be a millionaire. It doesn't work that way. I've never told people you're going to get rich off gold and, silver, gold and silver. I tell people it's a storage of wealth. What you decide it to be is up to you. So if you are getting physical gold and silver and you are using it like insurance and you are using it to put your fiat dollars, which lose money all the time and make no mistake, when they tell you, well, when they fool you to let you know that the dollar is strong. What they don't tell you is it's not the dollar that's strong. They take the other currencies like the euro and other other, other countries like Japan and, and other currencies. They decrease them. So look, if you're here, this looks a lot higher. But you notice it didn't move anywhere. So they give this whole illusion. They doctor the numbers. I mean, look at Wall Street. Look what's going on in the stock market with the Dow Jones. We're seeing all these record highs. Who's investing in it? How many of out, out there that are watching this channel have invested one penny in the Dow Jones? It's the government buying it. They're using quantitative easing. Whether it's un done or not, if you want to believe just because they said it's done, I mean, let's, let's put it this way. If you believe a politician at this point, and you don't see the agendas that they have, you know, you're just living in a fantasy world. Actions always speak louder than words. So when I get my physical gold and silver, I have been getting it as a storage of wealth. I use it as protection. And I'm not worried about the fact that the price is going down because what I see it as is, number one, I started collecting since I was a kid. So I have lots of gold and silver, well, not a lot of gold coins, but I have a lot of silver coins that before I even knew any of this stuff even existed, I enjoyed collecting them. So there's, there's that enjoyment factor because I've always said to enjoy what you do. Don't do it just to say, oh, I'm going to make money and I don't care what happens. If you don't enjoy what you do, it becomes work. So because of the fact that I get the physical medals and I enjoy doing it, I love getting them in the mail. I love opening the boxes. I love these different coins and different varieties and, 
and different shapes and sizes and weights that when it drops in price, I'm like, wow, that's a sale. I mean, just imagine if you were going to buy a house and you had $250,000 to spend and the house of your dreams is exactly $250,000. Then you go back a week later, it's now reduced to a hundred thousand. You're not going to sit there and, and celebrate. I mean, come on. The less money you spend on something that you enjoy getting, the more of it you can get or the extra money you can use to put gas in your car, to pay your bills, to go on a vacation, to do something else. I've been investing in some graded comic books. I haven't done that since the mid to late 90s. I stopped doing it and I'm enjoying doing it. When you enjoy what you do, you will always be happy. The only problem is, and this is one of the biggest things I find absolutely ridiculous on YouTube, is for some reason there are people out there who do not agree with what I say and they feel it is their duty to come to my channel and attack people because their perception of what I'm doing is different. And they feel the need to ridicule, attack, insult, and abuse people who, first of all, they don't know. Second of all, they're not friends with, they know nothing about, and don't see that they have the right to do whatever they want. I mean, I'll give you a prime example. I do not collect Barbie dolls. That is not my thing. I don't care how much they're worth. But I'm not going to go on a channel where a person is, their channel is all about Barbie dolls. And they're talking to people, oh, how you could collect this certain doll and which ones are rare and which ones are valuable. I'm not going to go to their page and say, oh, you're an idiot. You like Barbie dolls? Really? I think that's stupid. I think you're a jerk. I think you're not going to lose any money. I think you're trying to scam other people so you can, so they can buy your Barbie dolls. What do I care? There's a thing called live and let live. So that's one of the reasons why I just don't understand the need that some people, I mean, I get it. Some people don't like gold and silver. So don't buy it. Why are you watching programs about things you don't enjoy? How does that make sense? So instead of you going to do something that makes you happy, lifts your spirits, raises your energy and vibration, you decide to go to a place that makes you angry. Oh, I hate that person. Oh, I hate what he talks about. Oh, I hate what he believes in. And you wonder why you might be bitter, angry, alone, miserable, looking very worn out, unattractive. You start drinking too much, smoking too much, abusing too much. You're spending your life being so angry over what people's choices are. So here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Do what you want. Don't do it for other people's approval. Don't do it for the wrong reasons. And don't do it just to do it. Because somebody else told you it's a good idea. Or somebody else tried to convince you it's a bad idea. So many people come to my channel to criticize my choices. They criticize the chain. They criticize what I do with my hair. They criticize my weight. For some reason, they call me fat. I don't understand that. I'm under 200 pounds and I'm about five foot eight. If they want to consider that fat, you know, that's perfectly fine. But I mean, for somebody to go out of their way to do that is just silly. And, it, it, and these are the people that don't even show themselves. So I talk about these things to let people understand that if, especially if you make your own channel, whether you're talking about video games, whether you're talking about Barbie dolls, whether you're talking about gold and silver, whether you're talking about the government, whether you're talking about what soup you had that day, there are always going to be people for some reason that will take their limited time for the day. And instead of doing something fun and exciting, they will go and hurt you to make themselves feel better. So if you're pressured into doing something, why? Why do you allow it? Because I've said in several different videos, it's all about choice. Everything that you do in life should not be based on what other people's opinion of it is. Otherwise, all you're doing is, is living your life trying to please everybody else. And I think that's why some people hate me so much is the fact that I don't follow the crowd. I don't do what other people say is cool or in. Like they want to attack me because this looks like something like Mr. T would wear in the 1980s. So what? What do they care what I wear? What are they wearing? Are they wearing the latest fashion that some person made thousands of dollars on or millions of dollars on because they put their name on it and they made 95% profit off of a person? Okay. You know, a person that would spend $5,000 on a little Prada bag instead of going and buying a homemade something that made down the street 
$10 bag that serves the same purpose is utterly ridiculous. Now, certain things like, for example, investments, you're paying for the quality, but you're trying to return some kind of, get some kind of return from it. I mean, some people have collections and they never even sell them. They give them to their children or their grandchildren, and they love the look in the, uh, the eyes of their faces when they give it to them. So if you're afraid to get into gold and silver, or you don't think it's going to last, then don't do it. But don't leave your anger on somebody else because of a decision you decided to make. Because not for nothing, I don't care how much people like me. I don't care how influential my voice could be. I don't care how much people can trust me. If I told everybody to jump off a bridge and they were foolish enough to do it, who's going to get hurt? Me or them? Did I f push them off the bridge? Did I throw them off the bridge? No. So take responsibility and believe in your choices. Know that you did what you did for a reason. That's why I don't worry. These lower prices, bring them on. I'll just buy more. I have no problem with that. And there will be people that will say it's silly. It's stupid. It's foolish. It's dumb. It's this. It's that. I hate it. I don't like it. It's a waste of time. What do I care what they think? They don't put food on my table. They don't help me earn a living. They don't dictate what I do. So it's just nothing more than opinions. It's just when some of them go and cross the line and do certain things that are just way out of line, I just don't understand that. That's why all of these quote-unquote hater people I don't even go to their channels. I don't watch their videos. None of them do anything positive or constructive. So anyway, I'm going to keep this video. Well, I guess I can't say it's too short because it's almost 20 minutes. But if you are into the physical gold and silver, congratulations. Have fun with it. Don't worry about what's going on right now. If you're doing it to make lots of money, you're probably pooping your pants right now. Because I've told people all the time, if you do it for just the purpose of trying to make money, you're in the wrong business. And that's one of the reasons why I will not invest in the stock market. You could make lots of money, but it's a corrupt system, and you're helping a corrupt government by feeding them income so you could make a couple of thousand dollars. And I've always lived by this certain motto, just because you can doesn't mean you should. So I'm not going to invest in a corrupt system. That's why when I finally learned all the things I learned, I took my money all out of banks. I canceled all my credit cards. I shop mainly from local businesses. I try and eat more organic products. I make my own organic products and I sell them to become independent from a corrupt system. I am doing what it takes and creating sacrifices. Could I make a hell of a lot more money working for the system? Absolutely. I mean, please, you can get tons of money selling drugs. You can get tons of money selling guns. You can get tons of money murdering people. Doesn't mean it's right. Do what you do because you want to do it. and Do the right thing. That's what I try and do. And that's the one thing some of these people will never understand. So stand up for yourself. Believe in your choices. And don't let other people persuade you. And don't feel that you have to fit in. Because then you're just the follower. Be an individual. Learn to love everybody, but learn to respect everybody's decisions. Because they have the right to make them. Nobody has the right to tell anybody else what to do. And that's one of the reasons why I'm... I'm all four, like our original forefathers were, for a small, limited government. Because as you could see, the more government takes control of everything, the more limitations you have. And in other words, somebody else is telling you what you can and cannot do. And they steal all your money, and they manipulate the market, so things like this, what are happening, happen. It'll go on as long as the people allow it. Because like I've always said, it's always about choice, it's always about consent. And consent can even happen when you don't say a word. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is Barn on 11970 saying thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, favor, subscribe. Help my channel grow by sharing it on your social networks. And if this is the first time you've ever watched one of my, one of my videos, I would love for you to check others out. Go to my must-watch page on the main page of my channel. Hit the subscribe button, and uh, let's start working together. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace.